There's fun and learning around the bend. You can even do it with your best friend. If there's science stuff that you like to know, come watch Allie and Coco Science Show. Hey guys, welcome to Ally and Coco Science Show. Today we have a very fun animal to show you. We are talking about the Sandhill Crane or Antigon Canadensis. Now these birds are pretty tall. They grow to be about two and a half feet in height, males and females. You're right, Clint, thank you for that conversion. Now these birds have been around for a long time. The fossil record shows that they've been around for at least two and a half million years. It's not actually, not actually what it means. And that fossil was found right here in Florida. So this bird lives in the United States and they can go all the way up to Canada and they migrate down south for the winter. And these guys live, oh, <laughs> these guys live in prairies and wetland habitat and they have some pretty cool vocalizations. It sounds kind of like a trumpet, like a kind of kind of thing, you know? Well, Coco, cool, cool. I I am I am trying here, okay? And they also choose their mates that they stay with for pretty much their whole lives by picking who has the sweetest dance moves. It's like a it's like a bow, and then they do kind of like a, like a, um, they throw their wings out, a little hop action, and it, they're much more graceful than I am. They're even graceful when they attack a predator. I'm talking foxes, I'm talking coyotes, I'm talking even eagles. They soar above their predator, and then they attack them feet first, and they grab them. And they hiss. You're right, Colette, these birds live in these huge group so they all kind of migrate together they nest together and they all protect each other they can hiss at a predator to appear threatening so these guys live in wetlands and prairies which is perfect for them to find food for them and their babies that you're right they eat everything they are omnivores meaning they eat both plants and other animals so they can eat aquatic plants grains berries insects rodents even reptiles so these guys can eat everything you're right well it depends on the season colette so in warmer weather they maybe will find uh bugs and things that aren't hibernating and then the colder weather they may be looking for grains and it might be slim picking oh but don't worry colette they are great at survival they've been practicing for millions of years so they know what they're doing now these guys aren't endangered in any way but some populations are struggling. So, um, yes, the ones in Mississippi, a little too many S's. There are populations in Mississippi and Cuba that aren't doing well, and even the ones right here in Florida. So many birds migrate south for the winter, and as we take over their prairies and wetland habitats for urban development, they run out of places to head south for the winter to migrate to year after year to nest, find their mates, have their babies, find food. So we're making it kind of hard for some of these populations and other bird species to survive. Scientists also predict that in 60 years, all their winter habitat will be gone due to climate change, due to the melting of the ice caps, the lack of survival for plants after uh, the temperatures are too warm. So in the next about 60 to 80 years, they may not have anywhere to go for the winter. Well, one way you can help them in a big way is you can contact local government or uh, Congress to try and protect areas for different plants and animals. So if you have all your facts straight and you wanna protect an area, you can write to the right people. And if you can't do that, that's okay. Even the small steps you take at home can help them out. Remember, in 60 to 80 years, their habitat may be gone due to climate change. So what we can try and do is change our daily actions so that climate change hopefully won't be a problem for them. So what we're doing on our Instagram, so you guys should follow us on our social media. We got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, everything's down in the description. Right now we're doing, for the month of January, reduce resolution, which means that every day we're gonna share something, um, a way you guys can help at home 
to reduce your climate impact, reduce your carbon footprint. So every day, yeah, you're right, Clay. So we have 31 ways you guys can help these birds, other plants and animals. So it's a really cool way to get involved, to change your daily actions. Clay, what should our question of the week be? Yeah, okay, guys, what is the coolest bird you've ever seen? I think the coolest bird I've ever seen are these sandhill cranes or my favorite is the indigo bunting. I saw one of theirs way too fast. I couldn't take a picture. So here's one I found on the internet. Colette, what's your favorite bird that you've seen? What's your favorite bird that you've seen? Huh? You do like to bark at vultures. That's, that's okay. Yeah. So guys, don't forget to comment down below. What is your favorite bird you've ever seen? And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new or you like cute puppies. And uh, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're gonna try and put a video out every week or every other week. Uh, and there's a little bell at the bottom. Hit that notification bell if you wanna be notified when we put a new video out. Don't forget to follow our social media. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye. Can we say bye? Colette. Colette, can you wave? Yeah, good girl. Hey guys, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Mrs. Jensen's fourth grade class in South Dakota. I hear you guys watch my videos every week. And for Christmas, they sent me all these feathers. Me and Colette love feathers. So they're gonna go right in my feather collection. And I am so excited. So thank you guys so much. Ah, see this, this is what she does. I can't. I can't work in these conditions. These, this turkey, all you want is the treats.